Remember, guys, we will be dropping the last Eye of Eternity emblem code on Twitter at 5,000 followers. All you have to do is like this video, comment down below, and go follow us on Twitter. Turn notifications on. What's going on, YouTube? Sabs here with TKO Gaming, bringing you guys a very quick video on Anomaly Trials, bringing you guys the fastest way to go flawless, the easiest weapons to use, and what you guys should do with your team. Before we get into what I do want to apologize, my health is getting worse, my voice is getting worse, but I'm still going to try to make these videos for you guys and also try to stream for you guys. So make sure you guys check us out on our live stream. We are most likely live if you are watching this video. If we're not, make sure you connect with us so you do get notified when we go live. And one quick announcement. We're actually we're gonna save that announcement for the end of the video So stay tuned because trust me it's hyped and it's about destiny 2 and I can't control myself So anyways, let's get into the strategy So what you want to do is you want to have a primary weapon such as a hand cannon or or a pulse rifle and what decides that is what you have as your secondary if you have a hand cannon as your primary I would recommend having a sniper rifle or something more long range as your secondary maybe an icebreaker that could work as well I've seen a lot of people use a hand cannon and a sidearm and as you guys know Zer is selling the trespasser so if you haven't gotten that yet go get it it's a great sidearm to use you can pair it with a palindrome or an eyes luna what you also want to do is let's say a pulse rifle and I do recommend at least one person having a pulse rifle in your team it really does help pairing that with a sidearm is the best thing that i've seen because a wormwood sidearm as you see me using with a primary of a pulse rifle works really really well but what that wormwood does is it allows you to really get close and or personal with your opponents so let's definitely get into what you want to do for heavy round now heavy round is i would say one person should go to catwalk which is the platform across from heavy and i would say two people will really get close and personal into heavy round because because you want to make sure that they do not pick up that heavy round and this is a very key round because a lot of people do end up losing it now if you're down like 3-0 and you lose this heavy round you're down 4-0 it's a big deal you got to make sure you win heavy round I've seen a lot of teams come back just based off of the win on heavy round and the momentum on heavy round you want to position yourself so you can pretty much pick up heavy and please do not use a machine gun like I'm using I would recommend using a rocket launcher I forgot to switch so I had to do with what I had but guys that's pretty much it all you want to do is you want to make sure that you stick together two people together one person kind of like a flanker or kind of like a distraction maker but you want that one person to be able to get away very very fast and not get caught up with the opponents so guys that's pretty much it for this map if you guys need help make sure you look in the description below and you can see if you can get a trials run with tko gaming we are on all social media instagram facebook twitter snapchat as well so you guys can definitely go and check us out there at real tko gaming all links in the description below and let's talk about quickly we got invited through email to the destiny 2 premiere event oh my god i don't know if it's real or not but if it is we are most likely going to be there and we cannot wait to share that destiny 2 content with you guys so guys i posted the email on my twitter so you guys can go check it out please do follow us as well subscribe to the family if you haven't and there will be more information on future videos i love you guys so much Snipes is out for now we'll see you on stream peace out